You're listening to The Hit List and I'm joined by Joel Corey. Hello. Yo, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm great, thanks. Thanks for having me on the show. I've just, uh, I'm on tour in America right now, but I'm back in London for a couple of days. So, um, yeah, it's good to be home, but I'm heading back off to the States tomorrow morning. Oh my gosh, it is literally like a whistle-stop visit. How's the how's the jet lag? Is it basically you're here for so <sighs> little time it hasn't sunk in yet? <laughs> Honestly, it's it's so weird because I'm back and forth all the time now. I'm kind of just like used to it. Mm. Um, but it, hit, it, it hits you at different times of the day like yeah. it just catches you by surprise you suddenly like feel like you just want to shut down and go to sleep but yeah it's nothing a coffee can't sort out <laughs> <laughs> how many coffees are you on now <laughs> uh, don't ask honestly <laughs> uh, i've got the coffees going i've got the monsters going i'm like yeah i've got i'm turning to a caffeine addict over it <laughs> <laughs> um so your song with tom grennan lionheart came out on friday such a good track so awesome to see you two come together like as soon as i saw that you guys were releasing a song together i was like that's gonna be good isn't it there's no way that they're gonna release a bad song <laughs> thank you so much how did that come about like who called who well obviously um like me and tom i was a big fan of tom and i was following his journey for years and he's top of the game he's absolutely killing it and we crossed paths together at um, a concert that we were both playing at and we just got chatting backstage and i we were like, we need to get in the studio and get one off together. Mm. So uh, literally a couple of weeks later, we was in the studio and um, we was recording Lionheart. And as soon as Tom laid down those vocals, everyone in the room just knew like something special was happening. And we both loved this record. And this was like a year ago. So I worked on it for like a whole year with him really hard to get it perfect. And um, finally felt like the right time to drop this tune. And um, I'm so happy with the reaction to it. And for me, it's like a, a bit of a step in the direction for a record as well. Yeah. This is probably the biggest record I've ever um, produced, as in that it's very anthemic. Like the whole drop is instrumental. It's more of a big festival stadium feeling record, which is the sort of tune that I've been wanting to make and put out for a while now because I've been on tour this year and playing a lot of festivals, a lot of main stages around the world. And I wanted that big sort of anthem record and Lionheart definitely ticks that box. Yeah, it is so big. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Faithless, like when it, when the, when yeah. it drops, like such a big sound. You said that you've just come from, you're like in the middle of touring America Now. And I saw on socials that you played it for a crowd for the first time recently. Yeah. How was it? How, how did they react? Yeah, that was, in, that was insane. I played it in San Francisco. I was supporting Zed on his show nice. and there was like eight eight thousand people there or something and it went off and we had like a huge stage big production big visuals and the crowd was so hyped up and i always feel a bit nervous like playing records for the first time especially to a crowd that had never heard it before and obviously i was in america as well so i'm kind of new to them out there too yeah so yeah, yeah. it kind of made it even a bit more like oh i don't know how this is going to go down but it proper went off and it, straight away i just knew right this is perfect now it's ready to release it's, i think it's going to be very popular at the christmas parties this winter it's almost like you left like it's like people are going to be like i need to go back to ibiza now because i need to dance to this song now <laughs> so did it just like fall out of you guys when you had that studio time together was it like quite organic or did you come in with ideas yeah, really, yeah no really organic and me and tom it, like clicked instantly um he just feels like one of my mates from school do you know what i mean that, like that's how we're just like brothers we're boys and it's so easy to work with someone when there's that sort of vibe there's no barriers up at all we're just so chill to each other and um we both wanted to make this record you know it was a record yeah he wanted to make a big sort of dance anthem as well and i was looking for that record and like i said you know lionheart just ticked those boxes and as soon as we got going with it he loved it i loved it obviously his vocal was amazing and um once the track started to come to fruition and started to you know get produced and see that vision of it we both knew it was the one for us was it just kind of like accident that you've created a song that's called lion heart like just before hey. the world cup <laughs> well you know i did mention that we were timing this one perfectly <laughs> now you know why i waited a little bit yeah because <laughs> i did hear it and i was like yep that's that's gonna be the world cup song this year isn't it <laughs> That would be so cool, though, honestly. That would be so cool. And, you know, the, I, I'm actually so excited for the World Cup as well because I finished my US tour um, end of November just as the World Cup kicks off. Mm. And I have booked all of December off touring. And I've been on tour since February. Like, I've hardly been home. So I can't wait just to get on the sofa, put the footy on, get my mates around, get some beers in, a couple of pizzas. 
Like that thought right now is getting me through this final stretch of touring. <laughs> That's amazing. Tom's obviously like a huge football fan as well. So do you think you'll watch some of it together? Oh yeah, we we already got some like um, performances lined up to DJ and perform at some like fan zone games. You know, where like you watch the match. Oh, that's and, amazing. Yeah. So we're gonna be together for probably most of the England games doing that. So I'm really excited. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah, like I think you know we need a banger. Like three lines on a shirt is always gonna have. <laughs> A special place in everyone's heart but we need we need a Classic. 2022 banger to get us through we, this year we do well here it is it's here right for you <laughs> you're <guy>. welcome <laughs> um do you do you think it's coming home of course man that's the mindset you gotta have like you've always got to believe always got to have faith man gonna manifest it um is yeah. there gonna be a music video on the way and does it involve the bungee jump or um, is that just for fun right so we've got a music video coming out this Friday. And let me tell you right now, this is the craziest music video I've ever been a part of. And imagine me and Tom on an assault course going head to head, Tough Mudder style in the pouring rain. There's going to be one winner and you're going to have to wait till Friday to see who wins. <laughs> oh, what, what a pitch. I'm so excited because I saw <laughs> I saw um, the video of you guys doing the bungee jump together before the yeah. song came out. And I was like, this would be just a really good YouTube series like Joel Corey and Tom Grennan just go and do different <laughs> like, adrenaline junkie <Basically>, stuff. <laughs> yeah. Watch Joel Corey getting scared and going through difficult challenges in pain and fear. <laughs> Everyone will love watching that. <laughs> you said that this record is going to be a new direction for you. So is there yeah. already stuff in the works that you can talk about? Well, basically, yeah. I mean, new direction wise, like, um, like I mentioned, this record, you know, it's my first record that's got like a full instrumental drop and a huge sort of vocal in the build, in the build. And it's structured differently to my previous records. And this is a sort of like sort of direction I want to step in to have those big stadium anthems. And like I said, I'm on tour now with past COVID. Um, I'm playing at festivals all around the world now. And I want those records that when you play on a main stage, you know, it just goes off, just, uh, just goes off, you know. So like um, definitely going forward, I want to kind of like move into that sort of lane room and and just explore that, explore that. And um, I'm excited, man. 2023 is going to be a massive year and I'm, 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 I'm already ready for it. <laughs> oh, well, I can't wait either. Like if that, if Lionheart is a taste of what's to come, I am so exactly. excited. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to play your song now on KMFM. Can you introduce it? Yeah, of course. Hey, this is Joel Corey. And right now you're listening to KMFM. And this is my brand new single, Lionheart with Tom Grennan. 